So everybody, hello, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts and the Cry Market. But it isn't about me today or about my husband, and I know it's Father's Day, but he gave up today because today is my daughter's sweet 16th birthday. So this is part one because I know that this is going to be more than one part. I'd like to say hello to my 16-year-old daughter, my princess for the day. As you can see, she is wearing a stunning sequins dress. Also, and pretty in pink. And she has her beautiful sash that says Sweet 16 or Sweet 16 Birthday Princess. And then she got a button from Disney with her name. And we all got buttons. I don't know where mine is. That is matching. And she got some beautiful new earrings. This gorgeous necklace. This beautiful ring. That was a birthday present for mommy and daddy. And then here is the crown. And there's a reason why we're going to show you that crown. Um, and you get to see my masterpiece. But I wanted to show you, now a, a rope, um, a twine came off. But these shoes were custom made by Grandma. Everything that um, is on my daughter is Majestic 2. Pretty in pink, 16 candles. Uh, what would be the other ones? Oh, the shoes were from Father and the Bride. The whole concept of that. Um, Breakfast Club, Tiffany's. I think we pretty much covered it all. So, my pretty little princess got to go and eat with in the West Wing at Be Our Guest Restaurant where they do napkins that look like roses. Everything's about roses there, of course. Red roses. And she got a card from and signed by Belle and the Beast. Yay! And then she got some special little stickers. They gave her extra because it was her birthday. Everybody is calling her princess all the way around the park today. Normally they see the birthday and just say happy birthday, but because she's all blinged out for her 16th birthday. And she got her whippings this morning. Daddy gave them to her. <laughs> um, so uh, that was it. But she got a very special picture done because she was the belle today. And there is the beast. So, beauty in the beast. Yes. Okay, so now that we played around a little bit, um, her cake is going to be eaten tomorrow because we've had a long day. And it was great to eat out so we don't get out very often. So, But it was Father's Day and it was her birthday. So, um, it was a special little meal. Princess. Okay, so the crown. It's up there. Sweet little 16. Who was on that? My ultimate, ultimate masterpiece. I have been working on this thing for three days and gathering supplies for about three weeks. And I did give y'all a clue in other videos was this candy dish, a silver candy dish that I got at the thrift store. Um, the top is a, um, oh my goodness. It is um, a planter, um, a hanging planter. It's one of those um, where you like hanging desert planter things. You know what I'm talking about. Um, terrarium. That's what it is. Anyway, it's got little holes normally here and stuff. But I'm going to go through this. My husband helped me with this, which he is not a crafty man at all. Um, but he wanted to be part of this because this is a special present. It held her crown that she woke up to this morning. And underneath were her special little necklace for um, earrings and um, ring, necklace, earrings, ring, necklace, earrings, ring, yeah, okay, and then the pillow here, I wanted to show you this, this was made by my mama, and we did it in Cinderella blue, it's a very shimmery, very shimmery, you guys all know I like the glimmer, this is all glimmery, and then if you look at the lace, it is glimmer lace, this is one of the laces I sell, it's one of the prettiest glimmer laces I've ever seen. So, she rounded it at the bottom so that it would sit, I'm going to sit this here for a second, so that it would sit snugly in the bottom, so where it would be fat at the bottom and flat at the top. So, so let me go through this and describe this for you. Here are four wheels, but it's not really four wheels. I did order them off of eBay from a guy that sells them. <clears throat> it's really cool. He, um, these are Canon um, carriage um, wheels. Uh, I ended up buying eight two sets of four 
um, to put them together to be able to hold the weight of this whole thing. You wouldn't think it's heavy, but you're talking glass and metal, plastic, fa uh, fabric, foo-foo feathers, um, glue. And there is several types of glue here. And I'm still going to go back in with some um, super glue so that it doesn't ever, ever come apart. Um, but the wheels were painted pink. And then they were glittered with the uh, glamour dust. My my favorite's my angel fairy dust. I love it. And then went back in just around the inside. The whole thing was painted pink. Then we went back over it, and then we did the gold on the outside of the wheel, and then the inside. And it took about four coats to get a good coat on this. Um. So and then this was like um one of those eyelets. And after getting the uh, the dowel rod and painted and put it in there. Um, what I did is I used a, um, my lighter and I heated it up to push that in as far as I could and then put liquid pearls in. So there is your wheel. I'm not going to flip it and show you underneath because this thing is way too delicate and it's, uh, uh sorry guys. But I did put foo, foo feathers underneath and let me tell you something. I'll have feathers floating around my room for a long time. I'm going to go to the side here. As you can see, this is a silver candy dish. It is a real silver dish. Uh, I think I paid two sixteen at the thrift store. Maybe 316. But if you can see, I went to the Caissonaire um, birthday section at Michael's and my husband picked out the flowers to have a little gold because in the real Cinderella carriage, it is white, gold, and silver. Um, so we have white and the silver and he wanted to make sure there was gold. So my husband picked the flowers. Um, I was hoping to use Lucinda's flower or Kimmy's flowers and it just, there wasn't enough and it didn't work. Though, I did use some of Lucinda's in the middle and I'll show that yet. Um, but I, I will be using some of their stuff on something I'll be telling you about at the end. So, and then I put some around the bottom. If you can see that I did do my polymer roses. You guys saw me teach it in red. But I went back that night and I made me um, 16. I did it on purpose. 16 pink ones so that I would have plenty to go around. And then you guys all know that I keep like the bling swags from around candles and stuff. And there was a reason for that because it all fit. I cut it apart. You guys know that I take that stuff apart. Look at my past videos. I tell you about it. So it, this has all been down in there. And I use goop. Okay. I can tell you right now, do not buy that um, Geo 5 Loctite glue. It is so sucky. and does not work right. Um, but I used a Glimmer Glue, Spray Glue, and then I put the glum, Glamour Mist or Glamour Dust, Angel Dust on top. So that it gave that, uh, that frosted look to the terrarium. Um, and then I put... Um, David Tortoria, he's that wedding guy. I got some of his bling. And then I bought some bling mesh from Adelaide. And um, I went with the blue. And I put it down the side of, and this is open underneath. I didn't want to put a lot of tension on it. Um, this is, I believe I bought this at Joanne's. Um, and you guys saw me do it on my 19th anniversary card. And I had just enough to do this, just to give it some dimension like lattice. And then I put some of the David David some bling on it. So um, that, and then on my little flower here, one of my polymer flowers, I put a, a bling on top of a very pretty birdie. This idea came from um, you know Snow White and her little birdies. They always like her. I think Aurora. They kind of follow her too. The little birdies. I almost got the blue, but I wanted to really stick with the clear because I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. So. Yeah, so I put a birdie there, and then I put a birdie up here, which is what holds, and I'll go around, and you'll see me flip back and forth, which is what holds her little banner, and it says birthday princess, because today, the only thing she asked for was to be a princess, because she's already got her trip when she got to go to Europe, so since we have passes, and they're about to expire, it was all about Princess Kim today, so it is my princess, that's where the whole thing came from, though she had a princess theme at her fifth, this was just about her. Um, though she did get the biggest card of her life, we um, because she would have saw everything I did. And this, oh my God, don't even let's go with how much I had to hide this stuff for weeks, and then waited for stuff to come in. But she got a yard card, and if you're on my Facebook page, you'll get a chance to see it. But you'll get a chance to see pictures of this great big yard card. It says Happy Sweet Sixteen, uh, or Kimberly, or Sweet Sixteen Kimberly. I don't know what it, I'd have to look at the card, but it's got a little diva girl up in it. <laughs> hearts and candles and cupcakes um but it's all yard art and then you can see i put some more bling around the bottom and it's it's all in there it's all good and see that i used stick pins which is where the pearls came in 
can see me, hear me wheeze, it's been raining here, and the, the